Okay, this is a virtual healing session for Dan Hirschfeld. And so first off, I wanna say thank you to Dan for doing this. And here's what I'm gonna do. Um, just one second here. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the Healy app. Oh, can you see this? Okay, hang on one second. So I've gotta connect it to my Healy, which is this guy right here, my Healy. I'm gonna wait and have a connect. Great, so now it's connected. So now I'm gonna hit add a new client. So I'll tap on add a new client. And this is what's really cool. I don't know if you can see this. There's individual, um, all of these things. Oopsies, hold on, let me do it again. Individual, animal, plant, organization, building, vehicle, group, or other. I'm gonna say individual, but you could do a group. In this case, I'm gonna do an individual. First up, I'm gonna add their photo. So I'm gonna choose from the gallery. I've already asked this client for their photo. So I'm gonna upload their photo, kind of move it around. I wish you could see the screen a little better. Kind of move it around, choose it. And then I'm going to put in his as much as his information as I possibly can. So I'm gonna put in his first and last name. And then his birthday. Now, the purpose of this is so that it's getting a frequency basically for him. And what we're going to do is I'm going to actually hit record vibration. So I'll tap on that plus sign and then I'm going to set my intention to, and I do this in my left hand actually for when I'm doing remote clients, I'm going to set my intention to record for Dan. Or if he was on Zoom with me, I would hold it up to Dan's frequency, but in this case, I'm gonna hold it close to the phone, close to Dan's picture. Great, so it grabbed his vibration right there. And basically what this is doing is it's reading his vibration in the field and his signature frequency based on his picture, his information and then just set me setting my intention to like grab all of that together. So now I'm gonna hit this check mark up here and I'm gonna ask it to store in the database and it's gonna ask me, do you wanna perform a new analysis now? I'm gonna hit yes. And first off, I'm gonna do a aura analysis. So I'm going to record the aura and it's gonna do its little thing grabbing based on his picture. And oh, look at that. We can see, hold on, I'm gonna try to get this a little closer. Oftentimes you'll see with these um, little things floating around, they're different every time, which is what's really cool. So I'm gonna grab a little picture for Dan. And then it's gonna give you the interpretation, the long interpretation. But I like to do, I like to do this one. So it's, you press these three little bars up here at the top and it shows you where everything's at. So we can see for Dan that his root's really low. I'm gonna take a screen grab. So here's what I do with a remote session is now I take a screen grab and I immediately send this to the client. So now I've just sent the imagery of his chakras to him and you can see that his three base chakras are quite low. So usually here's what happens with this. If I were to run a chakra boosting program, what would happen is when we get his second results, they're all going to be more balanced out. Some will come down, some will go up, but they'll be more balanced. So let's see what the Healy wants to recommend for him. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to go, every time you leave the Healy app, by the way, as of right now, you've got to reconnect it to the Healy. So I'm going to reconnect to the Healy and I'm going to, and I'm going to do a resonance analysis. So I'm going to see what he's in resonance with.
So this is really cool. You asked the question, with what does Dan Hirschfeld have the most resonance with needing now is how I ask the question. With what does Dan Hirschfeld or your client's name have the most resonance with needing now? And then I will um, go and look through the database and um, do my scan. So for example, this, I really want to take a look at the, um, the chakra programs. So I'm going to ask, with what does Dan have the most resonance with needing now? So I'm going to start that, start analysis. It's going to ask me to put my thumbprint on here. So I'm going to basically, I never use my right um, for when I'm doing somebody else. I always use my left and I set my intention to receive what they need and th transmit through me. So, so I'm going to press here for Dan. What is he most in resonance with needing now? Now remember, it's also picking up on his main frequency vibration and what it read from his um, his aura. So it's saying he needs root chakra, third eye chakra, and crown chakra. So we're in sacral chakra. So we're going to select that to run and hit done, and then hit actions and go and vibrate. We're going to go vibrate. And I'm gonna choose the transmission time right down here. I don't know if you can see that. The transmission time. I'm gonna go for Dan, I'm gonna go 12 minutes. And hit start. And now I'm gonna text message him and say, hey, I've started this. Um, but first I'm gonna, before I do that, I'm gonna play a little trick and see if he can feel anything. So here we go. Cause I don't like to, um, I like to see what their experience is. So I'm just going to say, tell me when you start feeling something or if you start feeling something and let them tell me. Now, what my experience has been is that as I've done these distance healings is that every single person has been able to tell me, I feel this slight tingling sensation. And sometimes it comes in through their head. Sometimes it comes in through their hands. Sometimes it comes in through their thighs. Um, but they'll always tell me that they feel something. And interestingly enough, they'll always tell me when they feel it stops and it's almost to the second of when it actually does stop. So this is a really cool, curious little device. Oh, okay. So I actually, you know, just started this and Dan says, now in my feet and in my scalp and my ears. Awesome, so that is awesome. Perfect. So I'm going to say, I'm going to run this program for a little, little bit. Go eat dinner and text me when you stop feeling something or when you think it's done. And then we'll see what happens. So this is the fun part because here's what's been happening for me is that everybody I've been doing this with has had a super frequency change. Either they just felt flatlined and awful beforehand and then they were sounded like they had all this caffeine going or they were really stressed and felt calm and relaxed. So for Dan, after we're done with this chakra program in about 12 minutes, I'm gonna do another program for him that's stress and rebalancing, and I'm gonna see what the healer recommends for that. So this is how to do a distance healing healing session. And what's really cool is that you don't have to be a proxy, you don't have to have this strapped to yourself, you just, you know, it's sending so because it grabbed Dan's vibration, literally in the field, it's sending this frequencies to Dan's address, if you will. 
his frequency address and as you know we all have our own frequency address it's just like our own radio station dial there's infinite numbers of frequencies and we each individually have our own so that's what this Healy is doing but I think what's really significant is so far what I've seen is people actually get relief and results really quickly which is pretty profound so I'm curious to know um, if you found this video helpful, but I'm also curious to hear about your Healy sessions. Um, and yeah, this is so exciting to me. It's just so exciting that we've got that amazing way. And by the way, this guy is a little bit of a skeptic. So this will be fun to experiment with. So I'll keep you posted. Stay tuned and bye for now. Okay, so we're back and what I um, didn't tell this client is that we were gonna run a crown program. He originally told me, and I wanna share my screen with you here in one second. He told me, I asked him where, you know, tell me where you feel it. Tell me when you feel something. And hang on one second, let me share this screen. I hope you can see this. Okay, here we go. I say, tell me when you start feeling something. He's like, now in my feet and in my scalp and ears. That's awesome, perfect. I tell him to go, um, I'm gonna run this program and then go have some dinner and tell me when he thinks it's done. So what's really cool about this is that he did not know that it was a crown program happening and a third eye program. So that's scalp and that's ears, right? Your third eye is doing all of this area. Um, and then he felt it in his feet, which is also very connected to that root level area. So, so interesting how people will feel it where it's doing a lot of the work. And I literally will not tell them anything. And so it's really fun to just see this in action. And people are way more sensitive also than they realize. And I think that's a really big part of this is why this is so cool is that people are more sensitive than they, than they realize and they're literally feeling frequencies from a machine. And by the way, I'm in Hawaii. I'm 2,500 miles away from the first land mass, right? <laughs> so I'm out in the middle of nowhere and he can feel it. So amazing stuff. Now I'm going to pop back in here in just a second when I run the next program for him and see how he's doing and see if he's feeling better and show you where his chakras ended up being. Okay, so hang on one second. 